Diangyo, Chinese for soy sauce. People all over the world use soy sauce without actually knowing where it comes from. In fact, soy sauce has been around for longer than anyone can imagine, with origins dating back to ancient China. During the harsh winters of prehistoric China, the people would heavily pack meat and fish with salt. Packed foods would leak juices later to be used as seasonings. This was believed to be the origin of soy sauce, known as jiang. Then, during the time of the Sui Dynasty, Buddhists were in need of a meat-free seasoning. One of the many new versions produced consisted of fermented soybeans, a key ingredient in today's soy sauce. Then by chance, a Japanese Zen priest stumbled upon this new seasoning. The sauce greatly intrigued him, and when he returned to homeland Japan, he introduced this new seasoning with the Japanese people. In the years to come, the brew was modified countless times, but a major change was the addition of wheat, another key ingredient in today's soy sauce recipe. The addition of wheat balances the overall flavor and gives the soy sauce the ability of flavor enhancement without an overwhelming taste. Eventually, this would become the soy sauce we know today. Soybeans are first soaked in water, then steamed for some time. The proteins are what give the soy sauce its unique characteristics. Wheat is roasted and crushed to hasten fermentation. The carbohydrates are what give the sauce its distinct aroma and sweetness. A salt and water solution is added to control the growth of bacteria and acts as a preservative. What makes the sauce possible is the Aspergillus fungus. The fungus is mixed with soybeans and wheat and then is moved to a specialized facility that contains the specific environment needed to allow the mold known as soyu koji to thrive. Once complete, the koji is then moved to a tank to be mixed with a salt water solution. This mix is known as moromi and is then aged in the tank for several months. During the aging period, the koji undergoes lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation. These processes are very essential to the essence of the soy sauce. During the time the moromi spends in the specialized tanks, the mold on the soy and wheat break down the grain proteins into amino acid and protein fragments and starches into sugars. This reaction gives soy sauce its dark brown color. Through lactic acid fermentation, lactic acid bacteria ferments the sugars into lactic acid and allows the yeast to produce ethanol. Through extended aging and fermentation processes, ethanol produces the flavor components unique to soy sauce. To finish up production over a 10 hour period of time, the moromi is constantly squeezed and pressed to squeeze out what we call raw soy sauce. The raw soy sauce is then stored in a clarifying tank to separate its many components with oil at the top and cakey material at the bottom. Raw soy sauce is then channeled through steam pipes in order to pasteurize the sauce to halt the activity of enzymes in order to preserve the flavor. The end result? Soy sauce.